Hello and uh, welcome to my last messy redstone testing world. So uh, this world here, I think, is my third or fourth uh, redstone testing world. I think it's absolutely the smallest one. Uh, but this was the last world where I was testing everything by just like picking a spot on the floor and building a thing there. And then the next thing was over there. And the result of this, that this is a complete, complete, complete mess, and I can't find anything. This is the smallest one, so I can probably find most things if I knew that they were here. But of course, nothing, there are no signs. I have no idea what is this thing doing. This is probably an autocrafter, it seems like. Uh, what is this? Uh, not a single clue. Shulker? box something this is a dispenser so it seems like a shulker box loader unloader whatever it might be but yeah um it is a complete mess and in my videos i have been uh, sometimes just uh, shortly mentioning a, a script i've been using that creates custom dimensions for my creative world but before i developed that i had another method uh, to this madness and uh, instead of shoving everything into the world like this I was doing something like this. I went here, I said create new world, and uh, we called the world test something correctly spelled, because it's important to spell everything correctly, and then you click difficulty peaceful, creative, cheats on, generate structures off, super flat, use this preset even though it's not perfectly good but it's probably the best one of those unless you want to completely void worlds bonus chest off done game rules no 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 we don't want raids we don't want phantoms mobs villagers patrols wandering traders time of day update fire weather done yes as you can imagine I've been doing this many, many times, and now we have a world. Oh, wait, no, there's still a problem in the world that I have to consider, and it is for making videos, you want the time to be noon. Ah, much better colors on the sky. Uh, yeah, but this, this, as you can imagine, it ends up being completely crazy. Uh, just, just, just look at this. And this is just one of my Minecraft installations. I have more Minecraft installations uh, where... Uh, this mess is as big as this one, or maybe even worse. Last time I counted, I had 150 to 200 worlds that, that I had created like this. So instead, I moved everything into one grand testing world, and unfortunately, the script uh, causes this. Experimental settings are not supported. The world uses experimental settings that could stop working at any time. Well, they haven't stopped working just yet, and hopefully this will be recoverable if they stop working. But this is my grand testing world, and here we ended up... Actually, what is this? Ah, this is my furnace array that I never published. We can talk about it some other time. In this world, I have divided things so that I have one dimension for every project. And I do it like this. You can type voids, add name of new dimension. And I will not press enter because I will immediately warn you about one problem with this script. And the problem is there is no deleting these dimensions. So I don't want to create something that I don't want to have here. So I will not press enter now. If you just type voids add name of new dimensions, or, well, you would call it, I don't know, test something, that will by default create a dimension that has no floor, has only one block that you can stand on and teleport to, and by default creates a plains biome. But you can also add swamp here, and it will create the world in a swamp biome. Then, if you want to find your world, you type voids list, that gives you a list of uh, all the dimensions you've created and uh, you can just click on it to teleport to them. For example, of course, uh, hi, it's me. Of course, I created a mess dimension. This is miscellaneous and there is a complete mess here. This is like some people create chest monsters. I create a world monster with experiments that don't fit anywhere else. But other than that, I can, uh, I don't know, what's this? 
Ah, this is the lava testing world where I did my lava vending machine. And I can just click on, on other things. Here is my auto crafting design world. And yes, this is what I wanted to cause. As you just saw, I was falling straight into the void. And I unfortunately, this is not a bug with this script. I think it's a bug in Minecraft because Minecraft is supposed to be teleporting me to here. We're teleporting at Y level 62 or 3, something like that. I think 63. So I should be landing on the glass, but sometimes you just fall through the void and die. But this is creative, right? This is just for creative worlds. This has no use for survival worlds unless someone is crazy enough to, to find a use for that. But uh, this is just to organize your creative worlds. Anyway, so how do you get the script? This script is now on GitHub. It is on github.com slash borkon stuff slash scarpet dash scripts. And uh, you can uh, read the readme there that, that gives you some instructions, basically the same things I've been talking about here. And on the right, you can click on releases. And in releases, you can find the source code, which is a zip file. And in the zip file, you will find the script called voids.sc. There are instructions in the readme where you should put it. Basically, a link to Gdembom's documentation, where he explains where to put scripts in the, your world. And yes, uh, I should have mentioned this. This requires the carpet mod so that you can run scarpet scripts. And the commands are voids add name of dimension but if you want to have spaces in the dimension names you have to have double quotes around the name like this you can add a biome here if you want so swamp i only remember swamp and the plains yes uh, i think for flower forests you have to use the internal name of the dimensions that Minecraft uses. So maybe this is not perfectly user-friendly, but I haven't been able to find a simple way to do completion on the biome here. And you can also do voids TP flower power. What's flower power? Oh yeah, that was my previous video where I was designing the flower farms. Hello, we're in the flower farm design world. And voids lists lists all the dimensions and you can click on them and teleport to that dimension, fall through, through the floor. Actually here I probably had actually a hole in the floor. Yes, I did. That's my fault. So for future safety, let's fill this in. There we go, because we're teleporting to the same spot in the world every time. If you have been uh, on my streams or just uh, hearing me talk about this on Discord, I have been saying that, oh, I want to add a lot of features. I don't want to release the script just yet. But I realized I was just being stupid because I shouldn't be adding features that I'm not going to use. So the script comes as pretty much bare bones as possible, just gives you the ability to create these dimensions. And if you have any ideas of features that I should add, uh, you can either just give me pull requests on GitHub and I'll do that. Or let's talk about it on Discord and I can maybe add something if it makes sense. There is no point in adding features that I'm not going to use and just try second guessing what people would want. Just tell me after using the earliest version what you're missing and we can talk about adding it. That's it from me today. That's just a very short showcase of this very simple script that I think should be very practical for a lot of people because I suspect I'm not the only one that has a chest monster among his saves. Thanks a lot for watching. And have a good voiding. Wait a minute. That's not the void. There is a void here. Have a good voiding. Bye.